I picked up an amazing bargain at Walmart. It's a $28 Christmas-themed G-Scale train set. Now, G-Scale train sets are normally very expensive. If you were to buy a LGB brand Christmas train set, you'd be talking about four or $500 probably. So at $28, this little train set from Walmart is quite the bargain. I want to open it up for you, show you what's inside, set it up for you, and show you how it works. What we've got in the box is the locomotive and a tender, a box car, and a little flat car with some elves on it, plus track, enough to make a small oval. And then there are some signs that you can set up around the layout, and there are some stickers for those signs. So let's start with the most fun piece, which is the locomotive. When you pull it out of the box, it has this little thing attached to it called a try me button. It's just a little battery and a button attached to the locomotive by a wire so that when you push that, you can demonstrate the sound capabilities that the locomotive has. <laughs> so you can just disconnect the try me button and set that aside. You will not need that once you put the uh, batteries into the locomotive. Now to do that, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver and you unscrew the top of the uh, locomotive and put four C batteries in there. They're not included. So be sure when you buy this at Walmart, you pick up four C batteries too. Now, for me, the big question about this locomotive is whether it's going to be compatible with my existing G-Scale track, because I've got thousands of dollars of track throughout my house and outside in my yard, and I want this to be able to run on that. So I've got a piece of real LGB G-Scale track, and I'm just going to set this on there and see if it's the same size. And it is. So this is fully compatible with regular G-Scale track. And that's great news for me. Now, it won't matter to most people because you just want to get this and set up the track that's included with it and run it around your Christmas tree. Uh, for me, it's a totally different situation since I own a lot of G-Scale stuff already. But for most people, this is just a perfect $28 entry into the world of G-Scale trains. So let's try it. I've set up the plastic track that's included with the set and made an oval out of it. The perfect size to go around a Christmas tree. And here we go. What you're hearing here is the sound that the train makes if you do not turn on the included sound effects. So in other words, to run the train at a minimum, you have this amount of noise. It's pretty noisy. Now I'll stop it for a second so I can turn the little knob on the top of the locomotive that activates the built-in sound effects. As you can see, when you do that, it lights up the smokestack too. And the sound unit plays Christmas music as the train goes round and round. Now for me, that little oval track is just too boring. I want to run the Christmas train on a much larger layout made with real G-Scale track.
Now, I hate to be Debbie Downer here, but before you get too excited about running out and buying a bunch of LGB brand track so that you can run your $28 train set on a larger layout, I should warn you that this LGB track, which is made of brass, costs about $7 per foot. So this layout that you see in my living room and dining room uses over $400 worth of LGB brand track. If the first thing you buy is the $28 train set, it doesn't make any sense to buy $400 worth of LGB track for it. But if you already own G-Scale trains and a bunch of G-Scale track, it does make sense to buy a $28 train set to run on it at Christmas time. And if you don't own any trains at all, but you want a little set to go around the Christmas tree, and you're on a tight budget that rules out buying an expensive G-Scale set, this $28 set from Walmart makes total sense and seems like a real bargain to me. Parents are gonna get real tired of the noise real quick, but kids are gonna get a big kick out of playing with this. So let's end this video by showing our $28 Walmart train sharing the tracks with a real G-Scale train made by LGB. It's a replica of the famous Santa Fe Super Chief passenger train. It features A and B unit locomotives and four passenger cars following behind it, including a dome car and a lounge car at the end. But those six LGB pieces set me back about $3,000. So I think it's pretty obvious which of the two trains is the better value. If you wanna pick up one of these inexpensive G-Scale model train sets, my advice is to go to walmart.com, search for item number 569022, nine six five and see if they still have them when i bought mine it was twenty eight dollars and fifty cents but of course there's no guarantee that this will be the price if you go to buy one or if they'll even still have them at all good luck i'm jim zim i do a lot of videos about g-scale model trains Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you think G-Scale is cool. And hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. That tells YouTube to recommend this video to other people like you and to recommend other good model train videos to you. Here are a few of my other model train videos you might want to check out. Click on one of the thumbnails to watch one of these videos.